all the wisdom sharing and chronicling is nothing if you don't have something to chronicle. So for this house, we have the people who actually measure things, who actually go out and do things. Not that they're not to lessen the need for those who are more theoretical, but this seems to suggest that this house is more for the applied section, I think. Served and solved, each complex task be satisfied, but faultless steps through practice may be a finer prize. I agree. The journey is worth far more than whatever the ending's going to be. So, we only have one more puzzle to do, and then everything is over with. Last time we were here, we didn't have all the pieces to solve the puzzle. Now, we do. Must try all combinations for each piece. Attend four corners before you cease. He wants us to use four corners, so he wants us to make a rectangle with these pieces. The first thing that's coming to my mind is to fill in that little gap with this square, but how do I fill that up so that it becomes a rectangle? Nothing is small enough to just fill that little gap up without extruding into another location. So I don't think that would work. This, however, looks like it can fill right in and then forms a corner on its own. But that's a little too long. However, it can fit on the side of that little cut triangle and then this slips in right here and then we have a red herring we don't need a rectangle we need a rectangle that uses all the pieces not just some of them so quick little overview we can rotate every piece that was obvious but we can also flip them by simply rotating them a whole bunch I'm going to start with those two pieces, this big triangle with a little cut in it, and then the larger triangle over there. Somehow, these are going to form the basis of the main corners because of their size. That's my guess. But it's not as easy as just attaching that long side of the big triangle to the long side of that other triangle, because we're left with too much space on the length of that big triangle. We need to make sure that we either fill the entire length with one piece or we fill the entire length with a combination of pieces. This, with the longest piece of the cutout triangle, leaves too little length on the side. There's no way to fill that in without extruding past the confines of the rectangle. The same thing would happen with the other side. Even if we filled it in with this triangle, it's not gonna work. It doesn't look anything like what we can make so let's try the smaller side of this cut triangle. This is not going to fill the whole thing completely. Now, we can probably fill this little square in here, but then we're left with a weird shape at the top that we can't really work with very well. So let's forget that. There's another shape that works a lot better. Please work. And it does. Look at the length of it. If that length plus that side of the cut triangle fill that whole length of that big triangle completely, but we cannot work with what's remaining. So, what if we slide this up? Let's not put it in the middle. I don't think we have enough pieces for that. But if we slide it all the way up, 
then we can use the corner of that piece to actually form an actual corner. And then this square can go up there, and I think the solution is quite obvious at this point.